you guys can push up freaking so far into their base and these enemies will still te technically like spawn uh, right near you. So player here, three, two, one. Player here, nice. I feel like Rio, a lot of people run around with an SMG. Many are struggling to find on spots to hold and help my team. Well, hey, we're gonna find those spots right now. All right, spawn old though. So I spawn for a pinch, which is really nice and get to shoot this guy in the back, get a free kill. And hopefully this guy is now actually spawning behind me again right here. Okay, he should be spawning over here on the left. Yep, there he is. And then as long as my teammates are hard blocking, I can literally keep these guys spawn trapped. Which none of my teammates were hard blocking because we weren't hard blocking right there. I wasn't able to spawn trap these guys. Probably going to be spawning in the top right. And like that's the biggest issue about playing these brand new maps is a lot of people don't understand like the spawns where right there we could have had those guys in a mix the entire time. Uh, but these guys should be spawning back here if they did. Why well, I don't know why that guy hit old. Not sure why that guy hit old either. <laughs> people move uh, far too much in Rio Hardpoint. About 25 seconds is when you need to rotate. Ah uh, man, I mean, that may very well be the case, but oh my gosh, bro. Some of these gunfights, I don't know how I'm winning. Like, I feel like I got no business winning. Okay, right here, we can get a nasty spawn trap right here. Oh my gosh, bro. And if I had an actual good controller that was mine, I'm popping off with a 10 piece right there, guaranteed, bro. 30 seconds left. I will actually say that I'm gonna rotate early and play for that uh, top bridge control. But usually these guys are gonna be like pushing up over here on the right. Yep, there we go. And we do need an anchor. I wish we had an anchor though. Okay, I really wish we had an anchor right now because we really don't know how these spawns are going to work. Because they very well can just be getting split spawns right now. Okay, play my life right here. If they're not getting time, I mean, if we're not getting time, they're not getting time, so it is what it is. I'll drop down and start soaking up time now. There we go, we got four dead. They're all spawning over here on the top left. I'm gonna push that out and play for that spawn trap. There we go. Fudge, bro, I wish I had a better controller. <laughs> they gotta get Vista Hardpoint. Bro, dude, Vista Hardpoint is fire, dude. I love Vista Hardpoint more than this one. That That's for sure, that is for sure. Okay, this guy is going up top, I guess. Oh, he did not go up top, but there was a guy up top. What do you mean when you say you need an anchor? I need a player to block spawn so we keep spawning the enemies in one spot and we can just spawn trap them and force them into a fatal funnel. That's what I mean. Like, we want to have a player guaranteeing a side of spawns the entire time by him sitting there the entire time. On me. Three, three, three on me. On the stairs. Yep, right there. Nice. Uh, Elias, do you like your Battle Beaver? I have a scuff, but I feel like I need less buttons sometimes. Ryan, I play with a Battle Beaver with two buttons. All I need is two buttons. One button to jump, one button to melee, basically. So I would always recommend that really you just need two at the end of the day. If anything, you really only need one. All right, I, ro I hit this early rotation right here, and I should be behind all the enemies. None of them should know I'm here, so I can actually flip spawns, and we do want to flip spawns. You actually want to flip spawns. Here we go. I'm glad we flipped these spawns now. I don't know if there was a guy over here. Yeah, there was a guy. Got the kill. And I'm not sure what's happening. I thought I flipped spawns. And my trophy's not working, but it did work. I don't know how my grenade... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just going to sit in time. Just lay down. Oh my gosh, three dead though. We're gonna soak up all that time. Those guys are gonna spawn in the back, unfortunately, because this player right here, technically this player is hard blocking and forcing us to spawn here and not the enemies to spawn there, which is, like I said, worst case scenario. There we go, three dead though. Easy. This guy's probably gonna push right here for this trade.
They did Grease So Dirty. Honestly, Grease just played way too fast, and there was too many random cuts that created random corners. That's why I didn't like it. Uh, can you anchor by staring at their spawns, or do you have to physically be in it? Uh, Otaku, you can stare at their spawns to block it, or you can physically be there. Um, there's a lot of spawns that are actually different. Like this spawn right here, I um I can look through this wall, and these guys are still going to spawn here. I have to physically be there. Uh, see, like right now, um, like if I was physically there, I'm blocking those spawns. But some hard points, if you just stare at it or if you look through the wall, you're blocking it by looking at it. It's different for every single hard point. It's different uh, every single time. Oh my gosh, dude. And that freaking grenade blew up the door. It takes 2.5 seconds to spawn up in hard point and it takes 3 seconds to spawn up in control. Uh, so just make sure uh, we all understand that. Like I said, I'm going to get for uh, get this top high ground control and literally hold this. Okay, my teammate's holding it instead, so probably got bad timing. Okay, and now because my teammate's sitting right there, he's actually going to potentially flip spawns. And this is where I kind of get a little bit scared because uh, one of these guys might have spawned behind us. I'm just going to throw a nade just to be safe. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's four dead. I can look at chat now. Okay, right here. I'm not I'm literally now not thinking at all. I kind of looked at the score and I said, oh, bet 220 to whatever. We're going to win. And now I kind of just like. I'm getting lazy with my gunfights. Damn it, dude. Why are we all three, like, looking at each other? Just gave us a free three-piece, yeah. I mean, uh, again, most of these enemies are kind of just losing because of themselves. I feel like one of these guys spawned behind me. I'm going to literally sit right here just to make sure none of these guys spawn behind me. Mm, okay, I should fight this then. Yeah, this alias kid is... What? This alias kid is what? Please tell me. I'm very curious to know. I mean, really, they're about to win, so... You gotta be careful. Like, we're not playing for our push-through right now at all. And these that's exactly what these guys are gonna do, is they're just gonna push through. There we go. Because we, we flipped out, so now all these enemies are spawning behind us. Damn it, dude. Uh, I'll be glad to get another PC. Been playing MW3 from Xbox One and it is awful. Rezu, dude. That does sound awful, man. I hope uh, I hope it goes better for you, man. Let's make sure these guys don't push up anymore. There we go. And just like that, that should be GG's now because we got the four dead. Now they're spawning out. Ooh, they spawned a lot closer than I thought they would. But there we go. We got the GG. Oh, it's not over yet. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, that was pretty easy. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, fuck this map. This map is ass. This map is not ass. It's all about just learning the spawns. I'm gonna upload that to YouTube. We played on a default PS5 controller. Had no idea what to do, but hey, just knowing the spawns, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, real quick, just to talk about solo queue, just to help out all my solo queue guys, real quick. I would say, obviously, our golden rule is to rotate at 30 seconds to make sure that we always are in a uh, desired position. So, obviously, if it was P5 to P1, we got to make sure we are always holding control of this top U control right here. Literally, just keep fighting P5. Or, if it's P5 and we need to rotate early, literally just rotate and get to that top control, right? Get to that top control. So freaking important. Uh, for P1. Uh, now for P2, for P2, if you guys are rotating early at 30 seconds, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that the player, if you spawn over here on green team and you rotate at 30 seconds, literally get to this cop car, bro. This cop car head glitch is insane. Not only that, but this cop car does not blow up. So everyone can throw 50 nades at you. You're never going to blow up. You're never going to die. Um, and I'd highly recommend to get there with an AR. Now, obviously, on red team, to rotate early, I would recommend to get to God Heady. And when you get to this God Heady, I would just literally keep shooting the enemies and keep them off of time until your teammates get to you. And then once your teammates get to you, this is where I would say push up and literally play back gate. And when you play back gate, the reason why is because the enemies are still spawning at green 
and you can literally cut them off and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So if you're green team, you're going to cop car. If you're red team, you're going to god heady. Once your teammates get to you, then you play gate and you're just spawn trapping the enemies until we hopefully flip spawns. For P3, if we are rotating early for P3, obviously red team, I would highly recommend if we're still spawning over there, hit a route all the way over here, sit inside of this uh, planner heady, glass heady. It, once you guys hop into game and you get to this position over here, you'll know exactly what heady I'm talking about. And you can literally just play for these guys off of spawn. You're soaking up time. You're helping your teammates um, basically get to the objective and hopefully, hopefully somehow we can flip spawns. And the second that we flip spawns and we're green team, that's where absolutely you just want to control this top middle the entire time. So uh, basically, if you're red team and you're rotating early for P3, get to this position. But if you're green team, your job and your goal on green team in solo queue is play this top position. And if you really want to, you can hit an outer route, go up top here, and boom, now you're top you and you're holding all of top control for your teammates at green. Moving on to P4. Uh, P4, obviously, kind of the same thing. If you're spawning as green team, really your job is just to get to this god heady, bro. Like this heady right here is just ridiculous how freaking good it is, bro. Just get to it. You're setting yourself up for success. You're going to get a lot of kills. Um, now, if we can't hit that rotation and get there, obviously we're going to have to just take the gunfights head on, but you can always get to top plat over here and try to take a gunfight from top plat if you really want to. If you are red team, if you are red team and you're deciding to rotate early, this might sound a little controversial, but I really do think it's worthwhile fighting through old. So if there's like 10 seconds on old, you can literally push this, get these kills at old, and then boom, now you're sitting here and you're sitting at a choke point. You can kill any players trying to hit boxes you can kill any players off of time, and literally you're just here soaking up, getting all these kills, and then ideally what would happen is eventually one of our teammates push inside of garage, and now all these enemies are spawning at secondary, and you can literally just spawn trap these guys at secondary the entire time. Um, now, like I said, that's a little controversial. It may not be good to hit through old time just to set yourself up for P4. Uh, so if that is the case, then the last thing I would say is obviously take the gunfights head on from cop car and then take them head on from white van um moving on to p5 p5 might be self-explanatory but if you can literally just rotate early and control this top control the entire time for your team usually you're doing enough work for your players to at least win the gunfights off of time and then soak up the time um but if you're playing solo queue <laughs> Yeah, we know how that works. Uh, but, hey, that being said, um, if we are red team and we can just get up to top third, get all these kills, let's say we get a crap ton of kills, we can then get to this head glitch that I was talking about once again, spawn trap the enemies. Um, and then for green team, green team, again, just literally, I would just literally keep playing for this high ground control and literally just keep shooting them from above. Um, P5, for whatever reason, I kind of treat as like a, a contest hill uh, just because we haven't seen enough, I guess, set, setups and stuff on it just because it's like an open hill. Um, but that is the hard point that I wanted to talk about for Rio. We went over all the spawns, how the spawns work. We also went over some positionings, uh, not only for, you know, advanced teams, but also for solo queue. Do we have any questions about anything? When it comes to playing Rio, it's always important to make sure you're counting your enemies, knowing where they are, and of course, knowing where they're spawning. So starting off with Hardpoint P1, I'll tell you right now, the reason why these are good spawns over here is because obviously the next P2 point is gonna be right here at Cop Car. And no matter what, for whatever reason, there are actual spots where when you look through the wall, you are blocking the spawns. 
So every single time I was standing inside of, um, basically this is called info right here. Every single time I'm in info and I'm just staring at the door waiting for an enemy to push through this door, these enemies kept pushing or kept spawning over here at primary. And the reason why is because the game is literally sitting there and saying, oh, this guy in info is pre-aiming the secondary spawn. We're not going to spawn the enemies where he's looking. And the exact same thing happened over here. When I was rotating early for P2, I was expecting enemies to actually be spawning in front of me because I had a teammate pushed up over here on the left-hand side. But for whatever reason, these enemies just kept spawning in primary and they didn't spawn secondary. Um, and it's because there's actual just, I guess, invisible walls that you can look at and already block spawns. Now, if you guys remember uh, back in Terminal, if you were in Book and you pre-aimed security, that blocked those spawns. Boom, done. Enemies are spawning out. You're blocking them. On this map, it's kind of the same thing, but for whatever reason, you're blocking it when you're looking through the wall, uh, such as over here. Um, whenever you push up and you try to get map control and you're trying to spawn trap red team, if you are ever looking over here at secondary by accident or on purpose, you are blocking secondary. And I've seen that happen to a player one time. One time he pushed down here, pre-aimed right here, the enemy spawned right here, and then he quickly turned to his left. And because he turned to his left, the second enemy spawned right here and shot him in his back. Uh, so just make sure we understand that uh, you can actually block these secondary spawns by looking at them through the wall, uh, specifically in these positions. And uh, now let's talk about, obviously, when green team pushes up to the red line or if red team pushes up to the green line, this is where you would spawn them secondary. Uh, so playing uh, on this map, whenever I was spawning on green side and we would push up the map, the millisecond that we literally hit the hard point and we start sitting on the hard point, for whatever reason, it starts spawning enemies at secondary. So if you do a break off to start off the game and you kill two enemies and you and your teammates are still just sitting on time, chances are those two enemies all spawned over here at secondary. Now, let's say you push down for map control and you start spawn trapping the enemies right here. Obviously, that's where... If you're looking at secondary, they're now going to spawn primary. And you can literally just sit right here in this head glitch and spawn trap the enemies the entire time while you have a teammate soak up hard point time. Um, and then you can have, obviously, your other two teammates kind of rotating and already playing for P2 rotation. Because these enemies over here, if they're spawning over here, chances are if it's 30 seconds, they're probably just going to already play for the rotation over here at P2, right? Um. Now, let's talk about red team real quick. So if we're red team, it actually takes quite a bit to push up and like flip spawns or just simply spawn enemy secondary. So if you're red team, I would highly recommend that if you guys are pushing up, you're going to have to push all the way up towards this green line. And even when you push up towards this green line, enemies are going to be spawning secondary. Now, if you can get a second teammate to push off of time and get into this position right here to pre-aim the secondary spawns, now what we have is we have one player blocking primary, a second player blocking secondary, and now this will flip the spawns and spawn the enemies behind us. And uh, obviously, the more specific we can get, we can literally sit there and be like, Okay, cool. We're going to have our third teammate just soaking up time. And then our fourth teammate is actually going to pre-aim at secondary and force them at primary, right? Um, and then now we know that all these enemies are all spawning over here at primary. This guy can easily get into a position, play for those ro rotators. Uh, this player can literally just keep spawn trapping. This player would just soak up time. And then this player would obviously rotate and go help over here at P2. Uh, now, hard point two, obviously, we want these primary spawns because, like I said, you literally spawn and have the easiest route to get to P2. And uh, what's even more crazy about this is um, if red team, if red team pushes all the way up, even into this back alley right here, these enemies can very well still spawn on primary. 
So this is another reason on why for P2, you really want these green spawns. Now, I will say, if you are red team, it is almost always viable to send a player all the way up, pushing over towards this green line. And once you get towards this green line, now you are actually looking at the primary spawns, you are actually blocking them, and this will flip the spawns. So just understand, if you guys are pushing up over here to try and block spawns, chances are it's not gonna happen. They're just gonna keep spawning here. But if you do send a player over here on this side, yeah, that will block spawns and that will flip and spawn the enemies out. Now, um, one thing that's really interesting about uh, this hill right here is the secondary spawns. So for whatever reason, if green team is able to push up towards this white line, you can actually spawn these enemies in this primary right here. Or I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you green team push up towards this spot and you pre-aim the primary spawn, this will actually start spawning the enemies in secondary. And it goes as far as to say that even if you get this one player right here, to push up into garage, and now this player is inside of garage looking at the primary spawns, it will spawn the enemy secondary non-stop. Uh, so this is where it's kind of it's kind of a weird spawn where like in a way you kind of never want to push a player up into garage and you kind of never want to push a player up to like go for these cuts because you don't want to spawn them secondary. If you spawn them secondary, you know, they're obviously influenced to go for like a middle route. They're influenced to potentially flip spawns. And then, of course, they can, you know, push up towards this alleyway right here. But um, it just gives them too much. It, it influences it influences them to do too much on the map. So this is where you may see a lot of teams actually decide to play it a little bit more back and like sit right here and hold a pre-aim or maybe sit in the pillars and hold the pre-aim. And the whole reason for that is because whenever these enemies spawn over here at primary, most of them are influenced to go towards this fatal funnel the entire time. Um, and if they do try to decide to go for a outer route to flip spawns or something like that, if you are counting the kills, it's going to be so freaking easy to predict exactly what they're doing. Uh, so... This kind of got a little bit more uh, advanced and for like, a, you know, a pro team or a top amateur team. Uh, but just understand that if you literally push up towards this garage or you push up towards this line, you're going to start spawning them secondary. Um, and when you spawn them secondary, that usually influences them to like push out and try and flip spawns. Um, now, obviously, when we rotate towards P3, which is all the way over here, if you ever do have any of green team kind of play around this red line over here, um, that immediately kind of just starts flipping spawns. Uh, so if green team pushes red line, red team will flip spawns, vice versa. If green team pushes this red line, more than likely you will flip spawns. And like red team starts spawning over here, green team starts spawning over here. Um, obviously, I have this uh, emergency yellow right here. And the whole reason for this is just because if every single spawn is blocked, right? Like there's an enemy here, um, and then a green player right here, and then there's a green player right here, but then there's an enemy right here, um, but then another green player spawned right here. Like if all spawns are blocked, usually the game kind of just does an emergency spawn right here. Uh, so if all spawns are blocked, you very well may have an emergency spawn right there. Uh, but the reason why it's yellow is because it rarely happens setup where now we actually want to flip spawns and now we actually want to be green team because as you can clearly see it is a way easier route to get to hard point as green team than it is red team normally when red team is hitting this outer route over here it's already spawning these enemies secondary so just make sure that if you're playing from top there's going to be enemies in secondary and hey sh screw it as you see it right here we can have a player sitting in time right here uh, pushing up this middle alley we can have a player top middle looking over him and then you can have another player sitting top bridge to kind of just basically you know trap those enemies while our fourth player is probably off spawn and pushing up um, now for whatever reason these spawns are much harder to flip than any other spawns 
And that's where I would say, even for green team, green team, if you are able to just literally hold the hard point, you guys can push up freaking so far into their base and these enemies will still te technically like spawn uh, right near you. Um, but most part, because uh, because of the positioning of this hard point, I've really only seen a bunch of teams kind of just battle it out and the spawns just kept going back and forth, back and forth. Um, we'll have to get more reps to see if there are actual viable setups uh, where you can spawn trap the enemies. Uh, but for the most part, green team, usually they just keep a player in time. They keep a player right here to hold full pinch and hold uh, the left lane. And then they have their other two players just playing top middle to basically spawn trap the entire time. Um, and that's normally like a setup that green team does. And that's all we've really seen so far. Um, of course, the more that we play this map, the more we see pro players, the more this will develop. Uh, but P3, pretty simple hill. P4, uh, P4, once again, this one is actually a very simple hill as well, uh, where pretty much, you know, if you're a green team and you're pushing up super far into their base, like once you actually hit a primary spawn, then you will flip spawns. Um, now, the reason why I put green team as the good team is because in my mind, I thought, okay, well, you know, they can at least go for a pinch. They can at least hit an outer route from middle. They can at least hit it head on. They also have a top plat hit. They also do have garage that they can play. And even then, if we do spawn at secondary, we already have a very easy rotation to P5. Uh, so that's why I say these are good spawns for green team. Um, but just understand that red team, bro, red team, they have a freaking head glitch here. They have a head glitch here, head glitch here, head glitch here, head glitch here. Head gl they have a crap ton of head glitches that they can utilize. And not only that, but if red team pushes inside of garage, the second that red team pushes inside of garage, yeah, all of green team are spawning secondary. And that's where, that's where it's up to you guys to decide with you and your team, what spawns do we want to have? What works best for us? Deep down for me personally, I really think green spawns are the best because it gives you a lot of routes and it helps you with rotations, but someone can can completely disagree and that's okay because they can sit there and say, well, no, red team has a, shit, a crap ton of head glitches. Not only that, but when we sit inside of garage, now the enemies are spawning in Narnia. What the he what, what are they going to do? Just rotate, right? Um, so this is where it's uh, really up to you guys, uh, but... Definitely P4 is a really fun uh, hill to play with. Um, obviously, there's just head head glitch galore, especially right here. The God Heady. If you could just rotate early, get into this God Heady, and hold that pre-aim, you might as well just get a nuke right then and there. Uh, really solid spot. And then we move over to P5. Green team, when they're sitting inside of lobby right here, um, they actually don't flip spawns, and you can actually kind of like lay down and hold a pre-aim and like play to cut these guys off, uh, off spawn. Uh, but the second that you leave out of this door, yeah, you're blocking those spawns. And then if we can, we can always get a fourth player up into planners over here or like glass head glitch. And then in this one head glitch right here, you can actually spawn trap the enemies the entire time. 